Hello everyone. So this is the start of our new crypto channel. Here we will talk about all the crypto related stuff from Bitcoin to altcoins, from decentralized finance to NFTs. We will explore the latest trends, news and analysis in the world of cryptocurrencies. So stay tuned for more videos like this. So in the first video we will uh, talk about Casper node, how to run a Casper node or solo mine on a Casper node. So we will head on to casper.org and here we will click on resources. You can also go directly on the kdx.app and then we will go to desktop wallet kdx so now we will click on download here you can select for windows for mac and for linux if you want uh, another video on how to run a node on mac or linux you can uh, tell me in the comment section i will also make video on this topic so now uh, today we will see how to run a node on windows so click on this and then click on download click on keep it's a 151 mb of file so a lot of people asking about uh, what are the benefit of running a node so first benefit of running a node is that if you want to make a Casper network more decentralized help to contribute in making a Casper network in more decentralized so you can run a node and also you can solo mine on your own node so the file is been downloaded and now we we'll click on that file and then we will install it Now we give one more info and then run anyway. Then it will ask for an administrative permission and then we click on yes. Okay. So here you can select uh, in which folder and which directory you want to install Casper node. So we'll click on this. Okay. Just create a desktop shortcut yes, and install. So it will install and then on finish. So as you can see it's been downloaded and now we will select uh, in which folder you have to run want to run the node and uh, you can select your configuration. So today we will see how on Casper node because it's easy to use and it takes less storage. Uh, you can also select CP miner, GP miner or a Casper archival node. Uh, it will download a whole blockchain on your PC or laptop so it will take a lot of storage so if you want to do it you can but in today uh, video we will see how to run the node on Caspar node so main it and then I want to change this So okay and then now we will click on proceed. And we will cut this. And uh, as you can see uh, the Caspa and the wallet we can uh, we will also create a new wallet here in which we can we will mine solo mine on this and we have the settings you can uh, I will select dark theme and uh, turn it off advanced setting for process controller and you can also change here uh, the configuration timeline if you want to in future like if i want to change this gpu miner and then click on reset that's it that. so this all has been changed and then click on apply so now i will all, again i will do caspid reset and apply so we will also create a folder it's pretty simple just create on a new wallet or you have a we are on where it's a seed phrase so if you can recover that create and make a password for this so our wallet has been created and you can see the wallet is the online 
So to able to mine our Caspa node, we have to set up Caspa Stratum Bridge. It's not available on KDX app, but uh, we can we will download this file from Google Chrome. Uh, if you guys are aware of Stratum mining proxies, it just connects to an upstream mining pool server and to downstream miners through TCP or IP connection. So we are just connecting uh, our Stratum address to our node and then our mining so to our Stratum. So we are on the link of Caspa Stratum Bridge file. I will also drop this link in the description. And now we will click on this 11 releases and then 1.1 is pre-release so we will download this latest version 1.1.6 here it's zip file we will also need our IP address our PC IP address to connect to the Caspa stratum bridge so we will extract this folder on our Caspa node folder which we have created previously uh, for KDX app and then we will uh, also search for our IP address so you can search for your IP address by going through settings and then uh, network and internet and then on Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi connection and at the bottom you will see your IP address so we will copy this address you can also find your IP address by command chrome by typing IP config Here you can see you will get your IP address. So now we will extract this folder on our Caspa node folder. So we have extracted our Caspa bridge file and then we will go to KS bridge and uh, now we will go on config.yaml file it we will not we cannot open this file but we will edit this file on notepad click on open with and then notepad here you have to uh, paste your ip address which you have copied uh, on local host we are at castpad address so i will paste my ip address here So we have pasted our IP address here and we will need this uh, IP address uh, again. Uh, so this is our port ID and this is our IP address. Now we will click on file and then save it. So now we will run our uh, Caspa Bridge application. On more info and then run anyway. Then allow us. So our stratum page has been started and as you can see here here yeah, that our IP address has been connected to our KDX app and now we will uh, download our mine uh, GPU miner server like mining folder and for today I will use BZ miner and I will download this Windows file. So now I'm extracting my BZ miner folder on this Casper node folder where we have our bridge and all the folders. We'll extract all and then extract. And now we will change its bat file so we will find a Casper. Caspa.bat file click on we will right click on this show more option and then edit click on more info and then run anyway because windows security features uh, sometimes don't allow this mining tool so that's why so now i will change our ip address here on mine to node point and we will paste our ip address and it's correct up already 16110 as we have seen earlier and now we will click on save it also we will paste here our wallet address from our kdx app which we have created and now we will click on save it so we are successfully mining on our own node this is our Caspa stratum bridge and 
now we will also run our mining folder here so we are currently solo mining on our own node so we have successfully mined our solo node and also we have set up our caspa stratum bridge so it's basically our gpu miner and our mining server is connected to caspa bridge and our caspa bridge is connected to our node so that's what uh, that's how it's work on solo mining so that's how you can solo mine on your own node windows so if you like my video I hit the like button and tell me in the comment section i will make more videos like that if you like it so stay tuned for more videos like that thank you